a local principal is out almost $14,000 after a scam call. News source Tanner DeLeon spoke with her about the scary situation, looking out for others too to make sure this does not happen to them. Tanner. Well, Gina Bonner is an assistant principal at class in middle school. She was at school Wednesday when she received the phone call and her heart dropped when she was told that she had a warrant out for her arrest. I was in a meeting and it just kind of caught me off guard. I said, well, what's going on? He said, well, you know, there's a warrant out for your arrest. Yes, you've reached Senior Deputy Amon Shepard with the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Department. Gina Bonner received a phone call from this number, a man impersonating an Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office deputy coming after her for not appearing on her court date. He said, well, a, a certified letter was sent out on December 28th and you were supposed to report on January the 4th. I said, for what? The man claimed she was wrongfully paid out for a PPP loan for a little more than $13,000, sent her the documents to back it up, and told her she needed to pay back $13,000 or she'd be arrested. If you cooperate with us, you won't go to jail. I said, okay. So I said, so tell me what I need to do. Gina stayed on the phone while she wired the money, more than 13000 bucks. But when the scam artist told her she was short by $4, alarm bells finally started ringing. I said, so what do I need to rectify this? Well, you need to put another $6,500. And I said, $6,500? I said, that doesn't sound right. According to the FTC, Americans lost $8.8 .8 billion to scammers in 2022. Imposter scams like this one are the most common. OKCPD said 99% of the time these scams are taking place out of state or out of the country, which makes it nearly impossible for them to track someone down. Once that money is, is, is sent, it's gone. It's really untraceable from that point. OKCPD OK and the Sheriff's Office says they will never ask for money over the phone regardless of the reason. No, we don't do that. We don't, that there, in no way, shape or fashion does the Sheriff's Office collect money that way. While it is unlikely Bonner will get her money back, she says she hopes it is a lesson for everyone. It just takes the life out of you. It just made me, it just gave me an empty, an empty feeling, an empty feeling because that money that I work hard for, that I was just scammed out of it. Again, OKCPD and the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office says they will never ask for money over the phone. So if you get a call from someone impersonating a deputy asking for money, immediately hang up and call 911.